Let's take a look at auto cabinets and see how easy it is to actually do a cabinet layout and send all the uh, parts to a CNC router. Uh, I'm just going to click on the wall here, pull up my wall dialog. Let's put a length in of 144 and tell it to draw. I'm going to draw the wall there. I'm going to go to my library here. Uh, we'll go back to a base cabinet. It's like the base cabinet. Again, these are commercial cabinets. Here, I'm just going to tell it I want to select distance on screen and I want four equal cabinets and I want say four inches from the left and four inches from the right. I'm going to insert that. I'm going to click the start and the end and we have four equal cabinets divided out. Now let's put the uppers above them. So I'm just going to go to the library again. We'll go to a wall cabinet here. Uh, I'll take just a standard wall cabinet and go insert. And here I'm going to say select distance on screen and I want four of them. It knows I'm on 54 inches up off the ground, uh, off the floor, excuse me, and 96 inches to the top, and they're 42 inch uppers. I'm just going to tell it to insert, select the start, and the end, and there's our four upper cabinets right there. Uh, you can flip the views and see the elevation view and the plan view. We'll go back to the plan view here real quickly. I'm going to go to my uh, countertop. Again, I'm, re I'm working a reduced size screen, but this is a countertop dialog. I want to tell it to build the top. And I'm just going to tell it to draw. And I'm going to move this off the screen for just a second. I'm going to select the start point, the end point, and tell it OK. And we have our countertop drawn. I'll pull this back over and just tell it the same thing. I'm going to tell it to draw the splash. And I'm going to tell it to draw. And now we have our splash on there. And we're going to go to our uh, elevation view. And here's our cabinet for our splash. This is We'll call our multi or master plan view. This will give you the floor plan and elevation in the same drawing area. Uh, I'm going to take this and we're going to go to our toolbar here real quickly. I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to tell it I want a cross section. I'm going to select the cross section option. Just choose where I want a cross section. And I'm going to click OK on that. And this will create a cross section for you automatically. And if you do standard cross sections all the time, you can just save those. And I can go to block, insert a block, cabinet section details, and we'll insert this here. So your wall section or your cabinet sections can be totally detailed out for you to exacting specifications of how you're going to build. Uh, and also, uh, there's a 3D view of the uh, cabinets as well. You can rotate this around and look at it in 3D. Uh, but if I want to send this to code, we'll go back to your split view here. I'm just going to say parts. These are all of our parts. We're going to create layered DXF files. So I'm going to select DXF. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and nest it. These are some of your nesting options. So just click OK here. Folder. And we'll call this uh, Web. And select Save. It's going to go through and export all the parts with the CNC operations on them. I'm going to select OK here and tell it to nest. So the program, I had this selected for grain matching, so it grain matched the doors and the door fronts. That's what you're seeing here. These are the upper uh, doors and stuff, and these are the base cabinets. 
and there's the other there's the four phase cabinet over there that's all gray match material here's all your end panels with your dados your line boring your construction holes all that stuff is done for you uh, and this is your back material up here and then to create the g-code for that all i've got to do is go quick code here and tell it to display the code and there's all your cabinet parts and all the G codes sent out uh, from start to finish. Uh, just a few minutes to get all the G codes and stuff created. Uh, thank you for watching the video.